Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we have a polynomial inequality. It's, you can call it also a quadratic inequality. And we need to find the solution set for this inequality. The first thing you want to do is to take this inequality, in fact, and make it equals to zero. You want to find out, in fact, first when this polynomial is, or quadratic in, quadratic in this case, equals to zero. For that reason, here we're going to use factoring. Factor form here is 2x minus 1, uh, or plus 1. We, we're going to see it in a moment. Let me double check. Uh, yeah, yeah, 2x minus 1x plus 3 equals 0. If you are not sure, uh, foil it and check it. Um, if you need more help with factoring, you can find uh, a factoring problem on my website. And then we're going to use uh, zero product property when I, when we have 2x minus 1 equals 0. So we're going to add 1. We have 2x equals 1. And then we have x equals 1 half. One solution. And x plus 3 equals 0. That will give us the second solution, which is negative 3. And now we can use a table for finding the sign. Uh, and the first sign of the value is going to be negative 3 and then 1 half. In this moment, the function is 0. That's the way we found them. And now, the first number I have in my mind will be 0, which is between negative 3 and 1 half. And you can plug it in any spot. If you plug it here, you end up with what? Negative 1 times 3. And that is a negative number. So that's the reason I'm going to put minus here negative the function is uh, negative between negative three and one half uh, then a number larger than one half will be one and we have here two times one in uh, the same spot right two times one is two minus one it's it's a positive number and the same if you put one on the other side so the product of two positive number will be a positive number and if you do the same and you pick negative 4, you'll see it is a positive number. So the solution set for our problems, which says less than 0, is this interval, negative 3, 1, half. And you see it on the graph. Okay, you can see also um, here on, on the graph, and this is the table, and you notice the function is under the x-axis, right? Less than zero between negative three and one half. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.